Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to start our new module that is Open Search Architecture. Here we will discuss in details the various components of architecture of Open Search and in detail we'll discuss about those components. So let's start. What are the core components of Open Search? So listed below are the core components of open source, open search that is index, cluster, nodes, certs and replicas, open search dashboards, query and search engine. So without wasting time, let's uh, discuss in detail what are these core components and what exactly they mean. So open search index is a logical namespace that holds a collection of documents in open search. It is similar to the database in uh, rational databases. So imagine uh, if I take an example, imagine you are having or uh, you're managing a digital library catalog maybe. So you can create an index called books wherein you can uh, where each document rep represent these books like and they have some details like title, like author or publication year. So this setup allows you to easily search the data, right? So in case if you are having a such catalog wherein you these details are mentioned, you can simply search using those details and search. So index is also like that. It is in the same pattern, index helps you to search the data and it is similar to the database. Index are divided into the search and scalable for scalability. So here it is actually used for, uh, you know, uh, for better performance. Each document inside the index, it's stored as a JSON format. Yes, it is, uh, the data is here is stored in a JSON format for index every data is stored here in the JSON format and uh, index also use mapping to define the structure uh, of the stored data so basically this is it helps um, to search the data easily when proper mappings are there we can easily search the data so this is all about index next we'll discuss about open search cluster so what is open search cluster it is a collection of one or more nodes that works together to handle indexing and searching operations. So it is actually identified uh, by a unique cluster name. Every cluster is identified by that and it is designed in a scale by adding more nodes. So each cluster consists of one or more nodes. So here in the picture you can see that every node have index and every index have search. So each node have uh, itself and we it we can add different different nodes as well uh, taking example like as i discussed a uh, library a uh, digital library which have catalog so we can search uh, the data in case the load increases for example the data so you can add more nodes to the cluster like here we can do so suppose we have one node and we have indexes and now we need some uh, we some more data need to be added so here we can add another node which can be like a another node so you can handle the additional traffic uh, and without like uh, hanging the system you this will definitely helps uh, user experience and fast reliable searches so if you have um, multiple node uh, depending on your data so it will definitely helps the user experience next one is open search node so node is a single instance of open search that is running on the server so they are responsible for storing the data as i mentioned earlier and processing queries and coordinates tasks so these are uh, if i talk about the definition of uh, node so as you mentioned it as it is mentioned on the screen you can see it is a uh, kind of an instance that is running on a uh, server here we have different types of nodes and i have here it is explained how what is the exactly function so master node uh, actually controls the cluster 
and manages the indexes so like any uh, actions like creating indexes deleting indexes it also manage, monitors the health it actually manages the cluster the master one we have another node that is data node it stores the data and searches the data so it handles any such queries any uh, uh, aggregation we have to perform anything so everything is done on this data node next is in this ingest node so it prepares and transform the data before storing it so any pre-processing that need to be done before indexing like we have to apply transformation or whatever we have to do it can be done on this node other one is a coordinating node uh, this node distribute uh, search requests so any incoming such request that is coming across any data nodes is done by this particular node Another one is machine learning, that is uh, Node. It runs on uh, AI-based analysis, uh, if I say, it's like detecting unusual pattern or anomaly, dis uh, anomaly deduction. So it is done by this particular Node. And if I did explain more in detail, like in a very simple language, as I give have given an example of let's talk about library. So this node is nothing else, just a portion of the uh, you know, book data that is. So if one node encounters some issue, for example, then other node can continue to serve request. So depending uh, this, uh, this manages everything. So this actually helps maintaining the system reality. So these are the types of node, master node, data node, ingest node, coordinating node. They have their own functions and they work together for our uh, processing data and coordinating all those tasks. Next is uh, next component is open search shirt. So to handle large scale data efficiently, open search divides indexes into certs as I mentioned earlier as well in previous screenshot and creates the replicas for fault tolerance. So third third is nothing else. It is a partition of index and each third is independent self-contained search engine that can be stored on a separate node. CERT allows open search to distribute indexing and searching operations across uh, multiple nodes. So as mentioned in this screen, you can see index have their own search and search stores document. So you can have different doc one, doc two. So it, it is actually storing the data in the documents. As we have explained earlier in, in, in the first slide or the index, it is storing data in the documents ID. So CERT is just a partition of index. So any large data sets are split into certs for efficiency it increases efficiency and as i mentioned uh cert is independent it's it, it is just a search engine and in it also distributes the data uh sorry distribute the workload not data multiple nodes so as i as we have multiple nodes it's it's just uh, helps to process the data in very efficient way next is open search replicas Open search replicas are just a primary copies uh, copies of their primary certs. So it helps the uh, failures in case there is any failures. So primary if a primary fails, then replicas take over. So it actually helps the search performance by handling many queries in parallel. So it's they step speed up the search by sharing the load. So this helps. The, so here in the picture you can see. There are two indexes, one index, other one is a replica. Similarly, for two, we have other replica. So in the same pattern, uh, it is created and just to provide fault tolerance and e easily uh, improve the performance while searching the queries. Another one is query and search engine. So query and search engine is um, a very powerful engine that supports full text. We can search simply typing anything. We can search the data. We can structure queries. We can do different aggregations like count, average, 
some whatever you want you can do the analysis of your data using different integrations and this query dsl is just json based language which is used to search the data and so uh, and full text search we can use simply just writing the text space relevance data you can just search it and integrations as i mentioned some average min max or anything you can perform using these uh, Integrations and filtering even efficiently narrow down the search results so we can whatever filter you want you just need specific uh, type of data you can just mention the uh, add those filters and search whatever data you need as per your requirement so this is another one and it can be used uh, for understanding the components in and in, in interactions in such a uh, you know efficient way which open search system manages and actually implements so this is all about query and search engine another one is open search dashboard open search dashboard is just a realization tool that is uh, allows user to explore and analyze the data it is also similar to kibana like Programana provides a dashboard, charts, and report. Here we can also create different dashboards, charts, reports, which we'll see in detail when we'll be creating such dashboard um, uh, once the, after we complete the data ingestion. Also supports real-time monitoring, log analysis, custom dashboards. Okay, we can also create alerts, which we will learn in our future videos how we set up these model, etc., etc. So as we are aware of, this is simple uh, you know open search dashboards we are used for analyzing the data presenting the data etc so it just helps in monitoring log analysis and creating reports so this tool is used for the one next uh, conclusion uh, yep open search followed the distributed architecture we have discussed the core components in details about this and sharding and, and replication we talk about they ensures that efficient search and high availability of the data if one node is down other comes up and and there is without without any uh, data break we can search the data multiple nodes type help in managing and indexing querying and coordination uh, the different types of nodes we discussed security and dashboard are they just advanced added features for enterprise applications so which is helping us to analyze the data present the data so that's it for this video we'll connect in end the session we'll start with our module 4 thanks a lot thank you for joining